Hi everyone, this week we will continue with lab 5, strings and file input outputs. In the first question, uh, it is saying write a program that takes a string and prints the total number of characters in it. And as an example, we can say, you know, text equal to computer engineering as a string value, and we will try to print how many characters inside of this string. So to be able to do it, we start, uh, we have a string like computer engineering again, and we want to find out how many characters it has. We can use built-in LAN function for this, right? That one. And once we run it, this prints 20, since there are 20 characters in total. In the second question, it is asking, write a program that prints each character of a string on a separate line. To be able to answer that one, we can use simple for loop that, right? For and you know, some variables and in and the, you know, the name of the string, it's a word. And once we run it, this will print H E L L O, each on a separate line. And in question three, write a program that checks if a string starts or ends with a specific word. To be able to answer this question, First of all, I define here one you know string like in the question, and we can use starts with and and with methods. Once I run it, uh, let me see. Yeah, once I run it, the output will be true and false because in our string was false university. It is starting with you know B or S, B or S, so it's gonna return two, and S is not terminating with you know city. There is no city here. It will return false. And if you got question four, write a program that replaces all occurrences of one word with another. So. If I define a sentence like Python is fun and Python is powerful, right? Then if I want to change Python words with Java or Java, I can use the replace function. So once I run it, it will change all Python files with Java. And question five, write a program that joins a list of email parts into a single email and then simplify it again. You know, likewise here in the example. Okay, first of all, I define a string. I define a list with strings. The first part is main part of my mail address. That Boazichi, that Yedu, Edu. And I will add, add symbol by using join function. Right? Then I will print it. How it looks like. And after that, I will split my string again by using add symbol. Let's run it. As you can see, it will return like this after first print statement and second one. If you got question six, okay, write a program that checks whether the user input contains only digits. I will define an integer here and we will use is numeric function as it is integer. It will return true. Question 7. Write a program that reads a text file and prints the number of lines it contains. Before doing it, you should create a you know, text file called poem, poem underscore new. And I put these three lines as it is, copy and paste here, and save it. And once we go to Anaconda Jupyter file, we will use it again, reading read mods with R. And it will read lines by using read lines. And it will appoint it to lines variable. And I will use len function again to be able to calculate the lengths. Then it's going to return three. And question eight. Write a program that first writes text to a file, then appends on additional. Right. Okay. It is an example here. 
so first of all okay it is that one i just use this time write mode it will create one txt called notes txt and it will well, add or write hello students and it will close the file again here i will open my same file which i created here before by using append mode this time then it's gonna again append or write this line let's run it okay it appears here as you can see in the first note writes mode it creates this file and add hello students and once i run the second code here it will open my file by using append mode and it's gonna add this line And question nine, write a program that counts how many times a specific word appears in file. Here we will create te te text one txt file like this. And I will read it. Then it is gonna count how many times AI inside of this file and it will return some results. So if we go there, as you can see, there is no any AI. So it will return zero times. But if I put this sentence as it is here, let's try it together and save it. Let me run one more time. So it's gonna return two times, right? And last question, write a program that searches for a word in a file, ignoring case differences. So I created one txt file here, as you can see. And I just paste the sentence as it is inside of it. And it's gonna check it's gonna check the Python words, right? And case insensitive this time. So it doesn't matter if it is capital Python or you know, small Python Python. Then it's gonna return two times.